Hello, Apostle E.C. Genova here, and today I'm going to be talking to you about why the Lord is quiet about your condition. To begin with, I, I just want to talk about a conversation that I had with the Lord um, at the beginning of 2023. At the start of 2023, the Lord began to um, speak to me about what He wanted me to convey to His people. Um, and the Lord began to speak to me about the fact that at the start of every new year, people are talking to him about plans and, you know, all the things that they want to do in this year and all the things that they want to achieve. And the Lord began to speak to me about um, the fact that many times people are eager, you know, to hear new truths. They are eager to hear new things. They are eager for the Lord to tell them about new plans, you know, that he wants to see established on the earth. And God said, say to them, you know, I trusted you last year with dreams and visions. I trusted you with assignments. I trusted you um, with the destiny of nations. What did you do about it? You know, um, he said to me, he said, I gave them prayers they were meant to pray, um, assignments, you know, to cover people. And they never, they never paid the price, you know, to achieve the things that I needed to achieve within the timeline of 2022 he says and now we are in 2023 and they are asking me for what's on the table lord what do you need to do and god was like hey is he trust begets trust he said if i could trust you with little then i can trust you with much you know he says if i could trust you with starting up the prayer ministry then i can trust you with giving you the big church if i could trust you with going for the contract that cost 10 million dollars then i can give you a contract of 100 million dollars if i could trust you with um, prayer and consecration on a second certain level then i can trust you to engage with me on higher levels and he said to me he says i will not speak until the people return you know to the things that i had commanded them to do before and interestingly when you think about the the word for repentant it literally speaks about is the greek word metanoia and metanoia doesn't mean oh you know i'm sorry I, I feel really bad you know i'm not gonna do it again or oh man i can't believe i did that to you i'm so sorry that's not metanoia metanoia literally means to change your mind so here is jesus coming out of the wilderness and he's like hey you know you guys have been in this seeming stagnation for over 400 years you've been in this place where you're waiting for the messiah you know every generation is like wow a mighty transition is gonna happen you know something's gonna happen but they were in this stillness and quietness for malachi to uh, matthew and you know in between all of that prophets will pop up people will pop up who will say oh they're the messiah who will say they had expected one but it never was so so there was a certain kind of quietness in the land and it's almost like god is not speaking and then here comes Jesus to break all of that. What does the Lord say? He comes out of the wilderness. He starts his preaching ministry and he begins by saying, metanoia, metanoia, for the kingdom of God is at hand, for the kingdom of God is here. Now, the most critical thing you want to recognize is that the reason why metanoia was important was because there was a kingdom to build so the lord is not saying repent because he's calling you to sadness he's calling you to sobriety or he's calling you to feel bad no the lord is literally saying repent because there is a kingdom to be built now repentance means change your mind now in my book from here to there i talk to you a bit about what repentance looks like and steps you can take to repent now it speaks about changing your mind so basically metanoia or repentance is a mental shift that needs to happen to you now until you can enter into this mental shift it almost becomes impossible to hear what the lord has to say concerning the kingdom agenda that he has placed in your care or he has embedded within your destiny so when you think about it metanoia is intentional repentance is deliberate and calculated as a matter of fact, repentance is system, system, systematic because as an individual, you don't move from a place of ignorance into a place of enlightenment without having a system of re-education. You know, you actually repent um, by gaining understanding of where you went wrong, um, how the mindset you received paralyzed you, um, how it made it impossible for you to, you know, just gain like 
um, strength and power and capacity to be able to achieve the things that you needed to achieve. You need, you need to do a study, a careful exploration of the effect of the previous mindset and positioning in your life and then do a study of where you should be headed and the new kind of mindset that will take you there and then you bridge the gap through education. You know, so repentance itself is not a feeling or emotion. In the midst of community recognition of, of the different things, it may provoke a certain kind of emotion on the inside of you but beyond the passion you know um, and be beyond all of that repentance be in itself is a set of actions that you take um, with determination and resoluteness set in your heart that you want to enter into everything that God has called you to enter into now it is in within the stream of this passion to move that is where you then find the capacity to enter into everything that God has called you to enter into so sometimes the Lord is not actually quiet sometimes our minds are just not in the places where we can hear God many times the language of the Lord has evolved and metamorphosed into a higher learning um, system or pattern but we are still holding on to a previous a mindset that makes it impossible for us to interpret God's new way of speaking so we need to make the transition we need to make the journey of repentance because in this year or in the seasons to come the Lord is birthing builders and he's causing what he called said to me as the great shift to happen and so the Lord says hey I'm shifting people I'm moving them to different levels global shifts territorial shifts national shifts community shifts they are all going on you know but the question is are you able to recognize the place that your repentance plays in enabling you fall into the stream of the shift so that you can then lay hold of the blessings and the goodness and the power that is meant to come with the shift you know in my book i talk about how to leverage on shifts you know to accomplish and achieve everything that you're meant to do now the way you see a shift is actually dependent on um, how you have trained your mind to evaluate the changing seasons of the earth or the changing seasons of your world, you know, and your ability to effectively analyze a shift that is occurring is what determines if it is going to give you a vantage position in the in the season that is um, that is approaching. So there are many people who find themselves in national shifts or they find themselves in shifts happening maybe in even in the body of Christ and they are unable to leverage on the shift, you know, to to bring themselves to the next level of promotion because they do not understand that for the shift to give you leverage, you need to be in a mindset where you can interpret and receive the shift. Um, and in my book, I speak a lot about such shifts and the different categories um, of the shift. One of the things you want to actually know is that these shifts can occur in maybe the soul realm, the spirit realm, the body realm on an individual level. Um, but the shift can also happen um, even in a territorial level, a governmental level. You know, but one of the things the Lord said to me is they have to be able to keep their eyes on the turning and the wheel of times and seasons. And he said anybody who is unable to keep their eyes on times and seasons will miss everything that I have for them in this year, you know, because the spirit of deception has already gone ahead to make people believe that it is business as usual. So you want to fight everything that says business as usual, because you see, God, the, the, the name of God that he gave to his people, he said, hey, he's Yahweh. And Yahweh is a verb, not a noun. So God is an active doing evolving, revealing being. And for you to be able to catch up with the strength of God in each season, you need to recognize that it's not the same revelation of him that you saw two days ago or two years ago that you should be expecting this year. His attributes remain the same, but his intentions and his agenda changes with time. So you must be ready to evolve with the Lord. You need to wake up and you need to join the turning. You need to join the movement, you know. And before I go on, I just want you where you are right now, considering what you understand as repentance and considering what you understand as the shift and how the shift can lead you into the place of power for today's agenda. I need you to just take a minute and say, you know, Lord, I repent. I repent of everything 
that you asked me to do in the previous season that I did not do. I, I, I repent, Lord. I choose to turn away, you know, from um, the times that you asked me to, to give up on the spirit of, or, or to, 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 to fight the spirit of loss, to fight pornography, to fight fear, to fight unforgiveness, you know, to, 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 to deal with the generational um, curses and spirits that are in my family line. You know, God was pretty specific about some things last year that you did not do. So I, I want you to just, or last season, not just last year in terms of the calendar year, but even in the last season, God was pretty specific. So can you just take a moment to say, you know, Lord, I'm sorry. You know, I may have even missed a timeline of manifestation um, that you set for me in the previous season. You know, I am sorry, my God. I ask that you give me the grace and you give me the capacity to, um, to jump into what you need me to do this time, God. And I pray that in your mercy, you open up for me, you know, just um, um, wells and gates in the spirit realm, you know, that makes it possible for me to collapse time so that I may be able to enter into the strength of my assignment. In the book that I wrote from here to there, I talk about God's redemptive power and how God can redeem time, how God can redeem assignments, and how God can redeem commissions through redeemed instructions. Um, you want to get the book because I believe that there's somebody listening to me right now who um, you feel like, you know, it's all gone, it's all lost, you know, there's no way um, I, I, I can redeem the things that I have lost in the previous seasons. I needed to know that there's, uh, there's a collaboration system in mercy and mercy has the capacity to bring back to you things that you thought were gone and you know god can change the instructions god can change the rules of engagement but he can give you the same kind of outcome you know so you, you want to get the book and in the book i talk about a guide that helps you navigate um, repentance um, while jumping into the shift i need you to think very carefully about all the things you could have achieved and all the places you would be in right now if you had made the necessary moves that God commanded you to make in the previous season. For somebody, it could be a family that you should be having right now, a child or children that you should have right now. It could be a business or a position, but just because you found it hard to let go of certain mindsets or just because you find it hard, you found it hard to, 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 to make the necessary steps, you have missed out on all of that. But the Lord says, hey, listen, the world doesn't suddenly move on slow motion simply because you don't have the capacity to go fast. The world is constantly moving. The kingdom is constantly um, fighting violence. And you need to be in that mindset of, um, of you need to be in that mindset that things are urgent, mindsets of urgency constantly for you to be able to maximize the resources of the kingdom. So click the link um, in the description box and when you click the link, you can, you can get my book. The book is called From Here to There, Making Successful Transitions. Hey, so click the link, get the book. Um, you'll find the link in the description underneath this video. I know it has been um, a blessing to you and I'm sure you've gotten tips that you can use in making the needed transition in the next season. So make sure you leave a comment underneath this video, share it with somebody who you love, who you believe the Lord is calling into a new season, but most especially, I'd like you to subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you can constantly be updated when I load um, fresh materials. So make sure you watch the next videos and God bless you until next time I see you.